Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about a very simple, inexpensive amble stand that you can make. We call this the DIY amble stand. And what you see here holding up my 70 pound uh, NC Tool Company standard amble is a stack of 2x12s that are glued and nailed together. And what we're looking at at current lumber prices is about uh, $38 in your lumber. You need a circular saw to cut them down to the correct size to make your height. You'd also need some glue, some nails, a measuring tape, um, a pen to mark things off. But the basic idea is you've got a nice wide base. So the two by 12, you got 12 inches wide going across. And then we've offset them. If we go look down from the top, we've offset these boards to make it even wider. It also provides slots for the tongs on either side so all your tools are within easy reach and then what we've done to figure out that overall height is that we've taken a measurement from the uh, my closed fist to the floor so that distance we would subtract the height of the amble and then that difference is going to be the height of the amble stand and what this does for us is it makes sure that the face of the amble here is the same height as the fist. So when you're doing your hammer blow down, you end up with a nice square contact. It's nice and flat. So you're not overextending your elbow as you swing and you're also not kind of scrunched up at your shoulders. So that's a very basic, simple DIY amble stand. I've written uh, quite a bit on the topic. I'll link to those articles if you do better with a written version of these instructions. If you like these videos, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, you might be interested in this other video. I'll post it right here. Thanks, I'll see you next time.